Hey, Smoke, good to see you yeah, again. You Losing well. one of his limbs to cancer hasn't slowed down Smokey. So let's go into this room here. Eagerly greeting a familiar face at the Ontario Veterinary College in Guelph, Ontario. And still getting along well on his three legs. For Smokey's owners, the six-year-old rescue dog has become part of the family. So when he was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, an aggressive bone cancer, they were crushed. Yeah, yes, I know. The shocking part is that you never expect that it will happen to you. And when it does, it... Um, it breaks your heart. Like people, our pets get cancer and the way their cancer progresses is very similar to how it develops in us. This little pug has lymphoma and is part of a study looking into the effectiveness of chemotherapy. Smokey is part of a different study, this one a North American clinical trial testing an experimental treatment called rapamycin. We can learn a lot from dogs like Smokey. The type of bone cancer he has is almost identical to the bone cancer that humans get. So the treatment that he gets here may actually help humans further down the road. Unfortunately, that osteosarcoma bone cancer comes back pretty fast. So what we do is adjuvant chemotherapy to try and delay the how long till that cancer comes back. Good boy, kiddo. Good boy. Smokey recently received his fourth and final round of chemotherapy. And like humans, it's not always a pleasant experience. With Smokey, with his cancer, osteosarcoma, if we can find a better way to treat dogs with osteosarcoma, that will help certainly their dogs in the future. But it may also help kids who come back with osteosarcoma as well. Smokey will get that experimental drug in the new year. We're, we're much less worried now. Results from the clinical trial are probably a couple of years away, but it's already a win-win for Smokey's owners. We're just extremely excited that he can contribute to research um, and also potentially benefit from that as well. High five. Good high five. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Guelph, Ontario. <laughs>